hello everyone so this is the first uh, tutorial related with work of uh, pi mole tutorial how to rule of the pi mole in the structural virology or vac structural vaccinology structural bioinformatics so in this tutorial i am just give a brief information and i am just creating some problem and then I just go through the problem and deals with the problem so what exactly the work is related suppose is structural vaccinology so structural vaccinology suppose if you have different genomes like a virus or bacteria or such type of thing suppose some bacterial or viral genomes so you have to collect this data and from the data mining or text mining and just collect this information in the computer and just go through the bioinformatics tools here i could use as a pi mole and different types of tools suppose the sequence alignment tools and structural alignment tool so okay i am just going through the structural alignment tool <coughs> either we just go through direct the structural alignment tool or just create some data from the sequence and just comes through the structural alignment tool but here my deal with it from this way i am just going directly with the structural alignment tools and i am just using pymol tutorial pymol software and it could be used for the ap to designing or uh, tri dimensional structure so here i am just first object is a tri dimensional structure but there are different type of structure we could use from the ap to and stability of interaction so such type of things in the next slides or next concerns sub uh, classes i am just going through but okay here i am just correct some data from the uh, data bank and do some pi mole uh, do some structural analysis by the computer and get what exactly the information and what are the information we will get from these tools okay so the first one is there is a basic that now at particular in this pandemic era the covid virus is the most prominent uh, value of concern so now covid virus look like this one and there are different type of surface proteins but our objective or we could say that the most of the research objective is the spike glycoprotein that is a glycoprotein a glycoprotein means some protein with related with some glyco uh, carbohydrate moieties so ultimately these are glycoprotein which is found on the surface of the coronavirus or covid 19 and the structure look like this one exactly exactly these are the trimer structure and uh, okay in the next slide we will just describe in a more detail so this is structure in the two state either is in open stage or closed state open stage or closed state you just go through i am in the coming slide i am just describing in more detail but okay open state means there is it has a specific rbd domain that is a receptor binding domain and particular this domain is important to interact with human cell and that's why the person and researcher work on the spike glycoprotein because this protein is directly involved to interact with human cell and when it is in closed state it does not involve to interact with the human cell but when it comes in open state it has the probability or possibility to bind with the human cell human ace2 receptor so okay so particular this is spike glycoprotein in two state both have the same sequence but it could found the two state open state and closed state open state rbd domain is in up orientation and closed state rbd domain is in down orientation so what is actually happen in the receptor binding suppose it is this is a structure in the rbd and rbd open state up state means a spike in a open state and this come and bind with the host membrane as2 receptor and now when it come in bind so after binding there is some different mechanism tmp or s2 receptor and all these things so some person cut it out and now the um, s1 protein or some, some subunit is released and uh, we could say that the, this is spike rbd domain is important to interaction and by which there are some changes and ultimately the uh, virus fuse with the host membrane so this is the important portion which uh, directly involve with the human ace2 receptor and now the most of the researcher work on the spike rbd so that is the objective that is my problem that we are dealing with covid spike protein which in the open state and or in closed state okay so that's our objective and this is the rbd domain okay and it come in bind with the human ace2 receptor okay these are the some things now i'm just going through the suppose pi mole site 
and now I know we know that is six uh, V X X is a closed state structure. Okay. Now here, I am just going and insert F E T C H fetch six V X X. Enter. Now this structure comes. Just go to F. And this is a full screen. So now this structure look like this person. So this is the same structure as shown in the presentation. So this is the structure, and these are some glycoprotein. That's why this protein with carbohydrate moieties, and now this protein is called glycoprotein. So this type of structure found abundantly on the surface of the COVID virus, and in normal wild COVID virus, it's shown in this fashion. But when it come and bind. to the human cell a specific domain which is found something here this is rbd domain it comes and bind with human ace2 receptor okay so now i am <coughs> working on this protein and try to get information how to deal with this proteins to get more information about the covid vaccine approach okay so this is the exactly the protein which is found on the covid surface this is spike glycoprotein so now my first objective how to deal with this proteins so okay if we could say that how many dimer or trimer or monomer this whole protein is in monomer or dimer or trimer we don't know i know this protein is a trimer but suppose if we don't know so how to deal with so suppose this is selected version this person we have selected so okay not selected so now this protein is in wild state six weeks e x x is whole protein just select this one so the protein is shown in full fashion if you deselect so everything is going blank okay so now this is protein now just go to c for color and now this chain and by chain so we could use we just go through this color and now i want to get how many chains and i would like to change in a different color so by chain just get three color green and this color is shown is magenta and yellow so now we could say that this protein in a three different monomeric states so this is a trimeric protein which has this structure now here you could see, uh, insert s p l i t split underscore c h a i n s so split chains and now this all chains chain a b c d e f g h all chain will be subdivided okay now not selected all this thing only chain a so chain b this one chain c this one chain d means these are the small moieties over there chain e chain but ultimately these are the abc three chains now i'm dealing with only chain a so okay this is a spike protein in a monomeric state however here spike protein in a trimeric state and this is the exactly the protein structure on the covid viral surface and this is the one part of one of third one third part of this is a monomeric state now we could see that these are some different residue here these are the glycoprotein so okay if you would like to remove just go yes that is yes for sequence and now this is the whole sequence of the protein this is a signal sequence so usually this sequence is not shown in the here because this is the signal sequence which used to protein suppose this you could uh, just go through this literature but signal sequence is the sequence by which the protein comes outside and this will give the signals to this proteins to comes outside of the surface okay these are some signal sequence it's okay and now this sequence structure start from this there are some other regions which shown blank because this is structure this sequence available but in the structure structure the this region may be highly flexible or by any region this regions are not shown in the crystal region so they did not shown in the primary structure as well okay so these are structure the structure where you select the region will be selected okay ultimately now i would like to these are support histidine residue hhs histidine residue because we could use this for isolation so these are some his tag to isolate this protein okay now nac nacetyl glucosamine these are the these are the some glycoprotein 
okay select this one and now this zone in the select region sele now hide and hide everything now click anywhere here okay now all the glucose matrix has been gone so this is a whole spike glycoprotein in a monomeric state now if you would like to change this monomeric state in a different color so this is a chain a just go for color and the spectrum and then the rainbow again i have to say just go to color just go to spectrum and a rainbow so different protein so in a different structure and as we know that vibgyor that is a common uh, rainbow pattern is a v i b g y o r so v means violet or yellow or violet blue so here is start and here it ends because it is rainbow pattern so here it is start from here and it end from here like suppose here it is starts this is first sequence and here is the last sequence they also have shown some sequence here but okay these sequence are not crystallized that's why it did not show okay so this is the last sequence and these are the some first sequence of the crystal structure but not the whole protein structure because whole protein structure this is the last sequence but okay this is not crystallized so it does not show so by which if you would like to change the background so either you just input some script or you could just go to display and a background and color white as simple as that let's just go through so okay now with this slide with the presentation i am just giving information about how to use the pi mole to deals to get information about the protein structure that is a monomeric structure of the spike glycoprotein and what is the first sequence what are the last sequence and how to deal this protein to get information about covid virus in the next class i will get more information how the spike protein interact with the human h2 receptor up to now thank you